How's it going, guys? I just uh, wanted to run through a quick tip uh, for your live baits. Um, basically, I use a toothpick. Just cut it in half. I like the bamboo ones. They're a lot stronger than those poplar ones. So they've got good structure. You know, nice and strong. Um, basically, okay, I get a bead. I cut it in half, and this is going to be a stopper on the hook. It's to stop your live bait from sliding up. You can use pretty much any piece of rubber, but I just happen to have millions of these beads. So, okay, what this is going to do, it's going to stop. Let's say we pin it in the nose. There we go. It's not really going to you know fall off the hook but that's just going to stop it from going there without that you'll often find that when your bait's sitting out in the water that you know it'll do this and you'll wind it back in and it you know it's like that or something you're not going to hook up if it's like that um, yeah, you don't want it to travel all the way up the hook. You might, don't want to miss that 30 kegger. Alright, so there's the first tip. That also works for up the back. Alright, it sits there nicely. Okay, now second tip. When you pin your live, you'd probably pin it back a little bit further. Alright, I'll just, I'll leave that in there. I'll use the second hook show you the example all right so what I do I get my uh, my hook and just where that fin starts about there I'll make a little prick just to break the skin you know and I get my toothpick and then I'll run it just under the skin keep it nice and flat don't go in deep just keep it under the skin Okay, now that's in there. Now I'll get me hook. Just feel where it is. Just go under. There. Okay, now you can cast that a lot further if you need to cast it and you're not going to worry about that pulling through. Okay, so let's just have a look at this one. I've had trouble, you know, when you've cast the bait out once or twice, so you've got it under a float. You know, maybe the third time you cast it out, you'll go to, not to launch the shit out of it, but you know, you'll go to give it a good throw, and you'll see your bait fly in one direction, and you, you know, you'll come off. But anyway, so it's taken a bit of pressure to pull that out, but there you go, it's torn through. Whereas this sucker, oh, that's three, four times, five times. A lot of pressure to get that out. Shit loads. All right. Hopefully that'll help someone. I'm sure it will. Thanks for watching. Happy fishing.